Hey class, and welcome to the multiplying two-digit numbers practice session here using the lattice method or the box method. If you haven't got a chance to watch the actual tutorial, give that a watch first because I explain things a little bit more slowly and, and go through the steps slower so that you can uh, see how I do it. I'm going to just practice this time and so you can see how it works uh, a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to start with this problem here, 28 multiplied by 61. So number one, I'm going to make a box and I am going to split it into quarters. It kind of looks like a window. And I'm going to label each box. So 28 multiplied by, you don't have to do that, but I like having that there, multiplied by 61. So next thing I'm going to do is I have to divide uh, my boxes diagonally like this. I go through the line, through the the corners there and then I actually just start multiplying by doing that again it splits it divides it up evenly into the appropriate place values so I don't have to worry about having a placeholders and putting zeros in spots so now I just go through with it 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 so a group of 10 and 2 ones 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 so 0 tens 2 so 2 8 multiplied by 6 is 48 and 8 multiplied by 1 is 8. Okay, and now I just add diagonally. 8 is all by itself, so 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, so 1, 0. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7. And uh, the 1 over here. So the answer is 1,708. I added step 6 here. Check if it's reasonable by estimating. So. Let's estimate. We've already practiced and done estimating before. So estimate 28. 28, if we round it to the nearest 10, it turns into 30 multiplied by uh, now 61. If we round that, that rounds down to 60. So here's a little trick. Anytime you have two two-digit numbers that end with 0, you just have to multiply the first digits and then add two zeros. So 3 times 6 is 18, and add 1 and 2 zeros. So our estimation is 1,800 or 1,800, and our answer was 1,708. So this is pretty close to 1,800, so um, I, I feel pretty confident that this is a reasonable answer. If this answer that I did in my multiplication was something like 200 or 600, uh, that's not close to 1,800. So I would believe that I either mistake, made a mistake in my estimation or I, diff, I, I made a mistake in my actual multiplication. So now I'm just going to jump to a quick word problem so that we can practice using multiplication in a word problem. Fabian grew pine trees to sell in December. He planted 18 rows of trees. There were 32 trees in each row. How many trees did he manage to grow for his business? I'd like to uh, give a strategy of when you have a word problem, Replace the uh, the numbers that are given in the problem that are a bit larger with simple ones. So pretend he actually just had to have two rows of trees and that there were three trees in each row. How would I draw that out? Well, I'd have to draw a tree, tree, two rows, and three trees in each row. Tree, 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 tree. And if I take a look, well, there would be six trees. And we could also find that out by doing two times three. So knowing that, I know that it's uh, going to be a multiplication question. So I'm going to try it out uh, using the lattice box, box method. And so here it goes. Uh, make the box. Let's see how fast I can do this. Make the box. If I can find my pen on the screen here. Here we go. And here's the box. And it's 18 times 32. And I'm just going to make the lines in normal pen this time. 1 times 3 is uh, 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16. 6, 4, 5, 7, 5, and that's it. So the answer is 576, because that's a 0, so I'm not even going to put it then. So Fabian grew 576 trees to sell for his business, his pine tree business. Racking in the dough there, Fabian. Good luck on this, guys.